A family's life changed forever in just seconds when police say a driver traveling more than 100 miles an hour plowed into their car on a residential street in Baltimore County. The crash was deadly, and as WJZ investigator Mike Helgen reports, the victim's loved ones are now fighting to stop dangerous street racing in Maryland. Love you. This video, taken from a home security camera Memorial Day weekend, shows the last time Lexi Friedlander saw her brother Zach and her beloved Black Lab Shadow alive. Zach's not here anymore. Like, he ends at, at 19. That's where his story ends. Unconscious subject inside of a vehicle. A uh, vehicle possibly on fire. On May 24th, Zach was killed in a terrible crash as he turned onto Dolefield Boulevard from Mill Center Drive in Owings Mills. Another car plowed into his Hyundai. Shadow went flying out the back window. In my mind, the only thing I'm thankful is that they didn't feel anything. That, you know, it was so violent that they were both probably killed pretty instantly. What you wouldn't give for even another day with your brother. Yeah. With your son. And that was all just taken away. I wouldn't wish this pain on anyone. This was not an accident. What they later learned left them stunned. From the police report, the driver who officers say hit Zach, Adrian Carrillo, was traveling 116 miles an hour at the time of the crash. The speed limit is 35. They pulled the black boxes yeah. out of the car. 116 yeah. miles an hour. Correct. Correct. In a residential neighborhood. Correct. Your son didn't have a chance. No, he got T-boned. Yeah. T-boned in the driver's side door at 116. Multiple eyewitnesses told police Carrillo was racing. The Friedlanders say those who live in the area have repeatedly complained about drag races there. I was told by a friend who lives in those condos that the racing continued even after my brother was killed, um, like the next week. That is not a track. That's a it's a residential street where families live. Street racing has been a deadly problem across the country. And in Baltimore County alone, three people have died this year. A two-day sting last year netted almost 100 citations. It hasn't stopped, and it's not going to stop as long as they have a straightaway to do as they please and no repercussions. According to the police report, Carrillo, who was 18 at the time, said a friend was following him in another car. He denied the two were racing. He estimated he was traveling 50 to 55 miles an hour and told police Friedlander's lights were off and he did not see him. Police later determined the lights were working. Carrillo now faces six charges. The most serious is negligent manslaughter by auto, which carries a 10-year maximum sentence. We hope that the justice system will do what it can, but we can already see that it's not going to remotely get us back what we've lost. We've already been told that he likely will not serve more than 18 months. Are you shocked by that? Yes. Yes. I mean, it makes you sick. Because, like, what's the value of a human life? I mean, and for us, it, it was two lives. Like, Shadow was a person to us. It's the way our laws are written. You know, the way things are now, Shadow doesn't even count. But he was another, another son. Mike, this is such a sad story. So give us the latest about the driver, Adrian Carrillo. What's going on with him? So this has yet to go to trial, and they expect it to go to trial sometime maybe uh, January or February. Something could happen before that time. But we did try to reach out to him. Um, I went by his house. I called the number in the court file. I called an attorney who I thought represented him. Also, uh, we think the public defender's office represents him. But so far, we haven't heard anything back. It was a two-day sting in Baltimore County forcing almost 100 citations according to your report. Have police told you about a plan in order to help save lives for the future? So, well, what Maryland State Police does with Baltimore County Police, they'll do these joint uh, stings and they did one back in June um, when they netted even, even more citations and it's funded by the Maryland Department of Transportation. Uh, now, you know, th these can be tricky. They go to locations where they think there's street racing, like at the end of Interstate 70 where it ends in that parking ride that's like one of the big locations um, also uh, sometimes on the beltway and 795 as well and uh, they were able to even uh, uh, get a felony warrant in one of these cases and, and they're able to uh, to really at least you know crack down a little bit and and and, and but it's very difficult because they got to you know try to get these these folks fast um, mm -hmm. and, and in this particular area I mean it's right near uh, 
high school where this happened and I was talking to people out in that neighborhood and they think sometimes could be uh, students or others in that community there's like kind of a straightaway where you can really get some speed there and uh, this the family that we talked to um, in this case said that they would like to see even more enforcement in that particular area because they don't want anyone else to lose a loved one's life. Well Mike keep us posted as this case continues to move forward. Still to come more after this.